Pat, I love watching the dish screensaver over and over and over again. Oh, oh wait! Hello guys, the Dr. J2006 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the bell from a Vanguard V2-25 FT. You may be wondering, how did I get this bell off? It's pretty simple. You just got to do these steps. I'll show you with the first step if you already did it. First, you got to remove your bell. Now we're on to the worst part, the next part, winding it down. If you already did it, you don't have to do this step. <laughs> Gotta hide it somewhere! In here! Now you gotta wait five minutes or so. This might be a good time to do some things around the house or play a game or do something else. It's done. It's finally done! Ah. There it is. Now on to the then part. Also take your plate with you. Now we are moving on to the final part. Taking off the bell. So first you're going to need to take a small flathead screwdriver and then just slowly peel it off although mine is already peeled off but you have to go like in here and then pop it comes off and then you're gonna need to take off these screws and then Take off this plate, then this. Voila! Now you know how to take off a bell. And this part, you can just slap it back in there. This video is made for specific reasons. A, if you want to paint your bell or like repurpose it or something or do whatever you want to, it's up to you. Here's proof that this is a indeed a Vanguard V2 25 FT. Same wind up, same screws. And same bell. Now we're moving on to the final part. Bringing it back together. So first you're going to have to align this pin with the striker. So right here's your striker. And your striker thing, I don't really know what it's called. I don't know why I called it a pin. So, right here is a tiny hole, and right here is another tiny pin. And you're just going to put it back on there. And then you've got this rubber piece, 
and just slap it back on there like this and then you just oh forgot a piece oh where is it ah oh, crap did I lose it oh there it is so first you gotta put put the pen right in there then put the bell in well it really doesn't matter cause you can just take out the pen and put it put in the pen and then slap the plate back on and then take your flathead screwdriver and hand crank those screws back in Oh crap I forgot the rubber piece why do I keep on forgetting things by the way the rubber piece is made for like absorbing vibrations for the bell make sure that the thing is aligned and then tighten press it down and then tighten and this piece you can just leave it on or take it off whatever you want but for uh, for but for this I'm gonna take it back on and here is the piece and I just figured out the middle piece is actually the one that activates this fire bell not the whole plate you can see a little bit of glue right there so I'm gonna slap this back on and if you still have the piece and you're still using it for fire alarm safety you might want to rewind it or don't take it apart Finally, put it back on your wall if you are following fire safety. Next, we're going to do the hard part. Ah, uh, crap.